Patrick J. Deneen, Why Liberalism Failed, Politics and Culture. In the book, Why Liberalism Failed, Patrick J. Deneen explores the historical roots and impact of liberalism on society, examining how it has evolved over time. This thought-provoking analysis highlights the changes in the meaning of liberty and the effects of embracing the common man, rejection of social norms, and the man versus nature relationship. As you delve into this concise book summary, you will gain a deeper understanding of the difference between genuine democracy and liberal democracy and the various ways liberalism has affected culture, education, and technology. Be prepared to engage in critical thoughts about the limits and potentials of liberalism in the modern age. The Power of Liberalism Liberalism, a political ideology that promotes equity, pluralism of beliefs and cultures, and protects individual dignity, has shaped modern government and societies. Rooted in Christian and classical philosophies, liberalism has brought about political concepts such as constitutionalism, federalism, and the separation of powers. Unlike communism or fascism, liberalism claims neutrality and stresses the importance of individual autonomy and freedom from arbitrary interference by political bodies. Proponents of liberalism credit it for spreading equality and tolerance, defeating colonialism, homophobia, and racism, and laying the groundwork for globalization. However, the focus on individual rights in liberal democracy means that the common good can take a back seat. The book warns against using more liberal measures to cure the ills of liberalism, arguing that it can fuel the fire. The Evolution of Liberalism The book explores the evolution of liberalism by analyzing its core values and how it changed over time. It highlights the shift from self-rule and discipline to the embrace of the common man, rejection of social norms and traditions, and man versus nature. The book argues that while liberalism's promise of infinite freedom is appealing, it fails to deliver in practice, leading to a disconnect between its promises and realities. The book also examines the limitations of liberalism, including the rise of market capitalism and excessive debt, and argues that a new way forward is needed to address these issues. The Costs of Liberating Humans The book summary discusses the idea that liberalism promotes human autonomy, breaking away from cultural and social structures. But with this comes the need for laws and state controls to contain the presumed anarchic aspects of human nature. Liberalism has also shifted societal values towards instant gratification and detachment, resulting in destructive behavior, declining birth rates, and rapid exploitation of nature. The mounting costs of liberal society are insensate to the touted benefits to the point where both liberals and conservatives promote liberalism as a solution. The Breakdown of Liberalism Liberalism, like a computer operating system, is only noticeable when it crashes. The breakdown of liberalism is becoming more apparent as it has created its own prison of inequality, enforced homogeneity, and reduced freedom. By promoting individual welfare, private over public, and personal opinion over the public good, the government increasingly impinges on the very rights liberalism was supposed to protect. Liberalism's logic is unsustainable as it requires constant increases in consumption and ongoing expansion into nature. Its underlying philosophy affects various aspects of society, including culture, education, and technology. The result is an anti-culture that weakens specific cultures and erodes education by denying the need for self-governance. Technology, shaped by liberalism's understanding of liberty, enhances people's drive towards independence, but it also reduces their sense of freedom. The solution is to address liberalism's philosophy itself, not just the problems it creates. The Uncertain Future of Liberalism the pursuit of liberalism will not solve the problems it created. The fall of liberalism could lead to military autocracy or populist nationalist authoritarianism. However, a viable alternative to the current system is possible. To achieve a better society, we must acknowledge liberalism's achievements, abandon its underlying causes of failure, outgrow political ideology, and develop innovative community-based culture and economics. 
Through such practices, we can create a new theory of politics and culture that represents true liberalism. As we conclude this summary of why liberalism failed, it becomes clear that the current state of liberalism is fraught with contradictions and potential consequences. While offering some benefits in terms of equality, pluralism, and personal rights, liberalism has also fueled inequality, homogeneity, and decreased freedom. The various cultural, educational, and technological aspects discussed by Deneen reveal that the neoliberal experiment may not be sustainable. In order to move forward, society needs to examine the underlying assumptions of liberalism, assess the path we are on, and carefully consider alternative notions of the common good and community-based forms of governance. The end of liberalism may be imminent, but the lessons learned from its shortcomings can contribute to a more inclusive, sustainable, and democratic future.